This conference will now be recorded. <clears throat> Hello. 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 Hi. Uh, very good evening to all of you. I think uh, it's a good time to start. Yeah. Okay. All right. So again, I'm requesting all of you to please mute yourself. And if there is any query, you can write in the chat box, which is available on the right side. Okay. If you are using your desktop. 
please mute yourself otherwise this is will work this workshop will be of no use okay all right so yes yeah, so, so today we will be starting up uh, you know we will be talking about cyber security what cyber security is all about and you know how to protect yourself and your business or your institution from any kind of cyber threats right so yes uh, my name is yogendra yogendra singh negi and uh, i'm a cisco microsoft and ibm certified technology expert uh, currently working as a chief technical officer with brelika services private limited in dehradun okay and uh, i have almost uh, 12 years of experience into the cyber security domain see cyber security is it's a very you know common topic nowadays okay everyone must uh, understand the uh, requirement of uh, you know cyber security and how to protect yourself and your loved one from the cyber threats okay so this is a very generic workshop okay so we will be taking some common scenarios day to day scenarios uh, on the basis of which we will see how to protect uh, your identity over the internet how to protect your password how to you know protect your social accounts and uh, you know all these things right because nowadays uh, uh, due to you know uh, corona thing we all have been forced to use uh, all the online services right so if we are using online services then obviously there is a threat okay as well for the for the cyber your cyber security threats are also there now uh, is my voice clear to all of you right yes if it's clear on the chat box okay all right a lot of yes that's good okay all right go ahead yes. go ahead you can buy very nice yes. go on uh, okay so just for your information uh, you know mr durgesh pant you know this is all happening because of the user so first of all we should thank user which is uh, uttarakhand science education research center uh, which is under the government of uh, uttarakhand so we will be uh, you know we'll take time to thank uh, uh, professor durgesh pant and uh, this is all possible because of him only okay so uh, but, 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 but why are you but why are you thanking me i am thanking you and all the no, participants no, no. please yeah, enjoy yeah. a fruitful discussion ultimately we want to create a nice well informed cyber uh, society digital society wherein we could uh, use uh, technology especially uh, digital technology for that it's a, it's a, it's a, um, uh, you know it's a must so please go ahead Absolutely. because time is short we yeah. can have this one hour session today maybe extended one one hour again tomorrow and if required if participants are interested all are interested mm -hmm. so further on we can uh, we can have an extended program also Absolutely. so because Absolutely. time is short so uh, please please uh, proceed thank okay. you all right thank you so much thank you okay all right so this cyber security awareness basics and best practice we will be discussing our day to day problem day to day you know uh, scenarios that is uh, uh, taking place over the internet right so okay so let me let me take one very common example right so what all uh, digital technologies or tools that we are uh, using okay so we are using paytm we are using ola we are using uber you know we have google pay even every transaction is moving over the internet right there are multiple tools not only one if you can you can count them right so but all of them are connected through the internet so we all know that internet is actually providing us convenience that yes we can use it anywhere anytime plus every storage is there over the cloud okay and cloud is also connected with internet if there is no internet there is no meaning of cloud at all right but have you ever wondered or have you ever imagined right if if you are saving any information over the cloud okay let's say google drive or google cloud so uh, you know is it is it really safe there right so you you must ask this question to yourself like if you are saving any bank or password information on your mobile phone or on your email okay so is it really uh, feasible for us uh, you know to to save it on the on the cloud is it really safe okay so we need to understand we need to you know understand these these kind of challenges that what what kind of problems will will arise if we try to uh, you know put our data over the cloud or internet okay so internet has uh, you know lot of data 
right internet has a lot of informations every day we keep uploading and downloading uh, okay so someone is saying that uh, my voice is not clear is it clear to all yes sir okay okay so if someone is facing issue in uh, you know voice then i have just reconnected it again okay all right i'll definitely love to discuss in hindi as well okay because uh, i know ki yahan pe dono type ki audience ho sakti hain and then uh, this this is a open workshop ye sabke liye hai so isme hindi english wala funda bhi nahi hai and then uh, we need to understand nahin, nahin, ye 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 theek baat hai hindi english dono mein rakhe aur right sir right aur aur ye interactive bhi bana sakte hain and we can absolutely. have a session at the end of your talk yes absolutely sir absolutely तो अभी हम लोग एक बेस्ट प्रैक्टिसेस के बारे में बात करेंगे सो वी हैव द अवेयरनेस यू नो सो अवेयरनेस शुड बी देयर अभी लेट्स टेक एन एग्जांपल ऑफ पेटीएम ओके सो फ्रॉम द पेटीएम ऑन अ डेली बेसिस वी कीप डूइंग लॉट ऑफ ट्रांजैक्शन अभी आप जब भी जाते हो यू माइट नॉट गेट टाइम टू गो टू एटीएम आप एटीएम में नहीं जा पा रहे हो आप यू नो राधर प्रेफर टू यूज गूगल पे और मे बी यू नो पेटीएम राइट दैट इज वन पॉइंट विल टॉक अबाउट सम नेट बैंकिंग स्टफ सेकंड थिंग इज if we are talking about internet okay so uh, you are we were discussing about the data up daily basis pe kuch na kuch information hum log cloud pe share karte hai pictures videos and some sensitive information as well okay to kya wo sari information jo hum log net pe save karte hain is that really safe okay now the question is you know over the, you know is it is it really safe now abhi hame ye sochna hai ki ye jo bhi data ja raha hai over the internet we all are transparent ओके नो मैटर्स कौन सी कंपनी यू नो बोलती है कि वहां पे वी आर प्रोवाइडिंग हायर लेवल ऑफ अथॉरिटी और हायर लेवल ऑफ सिक्योरिटी मैकेनिज्म राइट सो इंटरनेट के ऊपर एवरीथिंग इज हैकेबल ओके सो वी कैन नॉट रिलाय ऑन एनी ऑफ द स्पेसिफिक सोर्स इवन इफ देयर इज वन नेट बैंकिंग थिंग आरबीआई आरबीआई की वेबसाइट रिजर्व बैंक ऑफ इंडिया की भी वेबसाइट आज से यू नो चार पांच साल पहले हैक हुई थी राइट right? so so everything is hackable so, हम लोगों को ये नहीं सोचना चाहिए कुछ भी इन्फॉर्मेशन है वो हैक नहीं हो सकती इंटरनेट के ऊपर या इंटरनेट के ऊपर सब कुछ यू नो सिक्योर्ड है राइट सो दिंग इज आप अगर एक फोटो भी अपलोड करते हो गूगल ड्राइव के ऊपर या ऑन ऑन योर ई मेल और फेसबुक ओके दे नेवर टेल यू टू डू सो राइट सो जब भी आप कोई भी अकाउंट बनाते हो सो देर आर लॉट ऑफ यू नो टर्म्स एंड कंडीशन so you always tick that box that yes you agree to the terms and condition right so they are not forcing you to tick uh, tick uh, tick there like you know aap aap they want you to go through all the terms and conditions now if you will go through all those condition terms and condition clearly which is very lengthy process i know right that might take half an hour to go through the complete terms and condition now wahan pe there you will realize it is clearly written that Google or Facebook might use your data for the purpose of marketing, for the purpose of advertisement. They can sell that information because it's a public, uh, public cloud, okay, or a public uh, social networking website, right? Which is free. We are not paying for it, right? So we are not, uh, you know, paying even a single penny for this. हम लोग Google use करते हैं, Gmail use कर रहे हैं, और Facebook use करते हैं, whatever we want to do. So we are free to do so, right? तो अभी क्या है कि अब अब क्लाउड में हमने एक फोटो सेव करी ओके नाउ इन दैट पर्टिकुलर पिक्चर जब हमने वो सेव करी सो दैट मोमेंट फ्रॉम दैट मोमेंट यू डोंट ओन योर डेटा राइट इवन दो वो आपकी ही फोटो लेट्स से इट्स इट्स माय पिक्चर योगेंद्र इज देयर राइट बट एट द सेम टाइम आई कैन नॉट क्लेम इट एट लेटर पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम दैट सेइंग दैट यू नो दिस वाज माय इमेज राइट बिकॉज़ दे कैन यूज इट इट इज क्लियरली रिटन सो अवेयरनेस इज वेरी मच रिक्वायर्ड another thing nowadays uh, you know paytm fraud is uh, is happening olx uh, you know abhi kya hai ki uh, paytm mein hum log koi bhi transaction karte hain olx mein hum log koi cheez kharidte hain kharidte hain ya bechte hain to bahut sari scenarios aise hote hain jisme ek layman uh, means wo wo log jinko ek uh, it technology ke bare mein bilkul bhi nahi pata hai and uh, they get trapped right wo us uh, jhanse mein aa jate hain ki ha ye ek uh, sahi cheez hai right तो फॉर एग्जांपल अगर आपको किसी को पेमेंट करनी है तो पेमेंट करने के लिए भी एक लिंक जनरेट होता है पेमेंट रिसीव रिसीव करने के लिए भी एक लिंक जनरेट होता है मेरे को अगर कोई पेमेंट भेजनी है राइट right? तो उसके लिए भी एक लिंक है किसी से रिसीव करनी है उसके लिए भी लिंक है सो इन सम ऑफ द केस इज लाइक फ्रॉड हैपन दिस वे अगर आपको पता नहीं है कि उस लिंक का मतलब क्या है उसमें क्या लिखा हुआ है 
तो so let's say I want to give you 500 rupees, but मेरे को आपको 500 रुपए देने हैं, but उस link में मैंने request करा है आपसे, मैंने आपको link भेज दिया, आपने आपने उसमें देखा, okay, it is saying 500 rupees, आपने वो accept किया, तो automatically आपके account से 500 rupees deduct होके मेरे account में आ जाएंगे, whereas I need to pay you 500 rupees, but ये सब आपको पता कैसे चलेगा, because with the help of awareness, जब तक आपको awareness नहीं होगी साइबर थ्रेड्स और साइबर सिक्योरिटी के फंडामेंटल्स के बारे में देन देर इज यू नो ऑलवेज अ चांस कि यू यू माइट फॉल विक्टिम ऑफ दिस साइबर थ्रेड ओके साइबर बुलिंग वी आल्सो कॉल इट साइबर बुलिंग राइट सो नाउ वी विल सी सम ऑफ द बेस्ट बेसिक्स प्रैक्टिस फॉर द साइबर सिक्योरिटी ओके now this is something that we we will be covering okay like what is information security we will be talking about it and uh, understanding information security privacy threats uh, safe computing best practice okay so hum log pehle ye uh, first three section we will cover, we'll try to cover today okay and then later on we'll talk about the ensuring data integrity how to you know uh, how to use your mobile effectively without uh, you know falling victim of cyber threats right okay all right so now uh, meanwhile i have uh, i got one question from siddharth okay people who are not aware about cyber they don't use atm like software for transaction because they scared why it's okay so i got one good question from siddharth uh people who are not aware about cyber technology they don't use paytm like uh softwares for transaction because they are scared uh see i'll tell you one thing it's not like that okay because uh on a day-to-day -day basis kuch log aise bhi hain jisko cyber security ke baare mein bhi pata threats ke baare mein pata hai still let's say you know uh, if you talk about me i know about the cyber threats i know about the you know uh, cyber may kya kya problems issues aa sakte hain but still i am using it okay because it is the need of the hour agar hum log use nahi karenge so it means obviously uh, you know people will uh, end up saying that i am i am uh, i am not updated right अगर किसी को साइबर टेक्नोलॉजी के बारे में नहीं भी पता है वो भी आज के डेट में एक पेटीएम यूज करता है लाइक दी सॉफ्ट शॉपकीपर्स दे डोंट नो एनीथिंग अबाउट साइबर टेक्नोलॉजी राइट बट उन्होंने भारत शॉप के बारे एक बोर्ड लगा रखा है दैट वी एक्सेप्ट पेमेंट फ्रॉम पेटीएम वी एक्सेप्ट पेमेंट फ्रॉम गूगल पे ना वाई इज दैट सो क्योंकि उनको पता है दिस इज द ईज ऑफ बिजनेस दिस इज दी यू नो नीड ऑफ दी आवर अभी हम हमको ये जरूरत है ओके लेट से कल की डेट में अगर मैं बोलता हूँ ड्यू टू बाई एनी चांस अगर एटीएम में पैसे नहीं है राइट सो वट मोड ऑफ पेमेंट यू वुड प्रिफर ओके आप शॉप में जाके एन या आई एम नहीं कर सकते राइट यू कैन यू विल डेफिनेटली एंड अप यूजिंग पेटीएम या फिर आप पेटीएम यूज करोगे या फिर गूगल पे यूज करोगे ओके सेकेंड थिंग उसी के तरह ही हमारे पास uh, ये ओला है उबर है और एनी एप्लीकेशन आप में से कई लोग लॉकड इन होंगे थ्रो मोबाइल फोन on your mobile phone there are there are lot of applications okay aapke usme bahut sari applications hai games hai jab bhi aap wo application games ko play store mein jaake download karte ho like you must have downloaded this software on your mobile phone right to so, jab aap ye download karte ho usme hamesha ek permission mangta hai that this software or this application want to access your calendar it this application want to access your gps location your uh, you know uh, your contact information all those things now hum log kya karte hain usme will uh, will say that okay yes i accept okay agar aap usme se kuch bhi deny karte ho to application run nahi hogi but have you ever imagined agar uber use kar raha hu main paytm use kar raha hu why do they need to access your contact directory right so we we need to understand that okay so i got one more question from someone uh any website which demands our debit credit card information say for example any education institution website is it safe to fill that information for a free trial uh, yes see i will will talk about each and every aspect of it right now you know currently we are talking about specifically the you know uh, let's say mobile technology we'll come to the uh, you know net banking as well okay so we'll we'll talk about it okay so now uh, what i was saying is अगर आप कोई भी एक मोबाइल फोन की एप्लीकेशन यूज कर रहे हो एवरी टाइम वेन एवर यू इंस्टॉल दैट एप्लीकेशन इट विल डेफिनेटली आस्क यू यू नो फॉर सर्टेन परमिशन राइट आप कोई भी एप्लीकेशन जस्ट आफ्टर दिस सेशन ट्राई टू डाउनलोड एनी एप्लीकेशन कोई भी एक एप्लीकेशन डाउनलोड करो आपके लिए वो राइट पूछेगा दैट दिस एप्लीकेशन वॉन्ट टू एक्सेस दीज दीज यू नो सेक्शन ऑफ योर मोबाइल फोन 
like paytm why paytm would like to access your uh, contact directory or why uber or ola these uh, you know uh, taxi services they wanted to access your uh, you know contact information or maybe gps location right so because everything is planned everything is connected okay so like if we talk about cyber security again cyber security bhi aage connected hai ek aur cheez which is known as this uh, data analytics right so they analyze customer buying history based on your uh, you know usage pattern to iska ek benefit pros bhi and cons bhi hai right so there is again some uh, positive point of it and then some negative point of using it okay okay so uh, mr deepak i'll i'll answer all these things in the last uh, 10 or 15 minutes okay allow me to run through the slides please okay all right uh okay so what is information security privacy now ye sari cheeze hain information security uh, privacy and personal information now can anyone tell me what is information security aap chat box mein type kar sakte hain what is information security as per the definition information security kya hai or if if you want to unmute yourself and then answer then it's okay okay securing information information protection okay all right security of data okay basically data protection okay so we have got lot of uh, answers information security is a set of practice intended to keep data secure from unauthorized access or alteration very good okay that's nice so i've got a bunch of response okay our right to secure data okay all right now okay so what is information security we'll talk about it. what is information security privacy and personal information so we are talking about privacy we are talking about personal information we are talking about information security so three things we need to discuss here okay now this is the first and foremost thing we need to understand this okay all right so information security encompasses all the ways we protect our information from unauthorized access modification destruction or any other form of attack right now agar main information security ki baat kar raha hu obviously it's our right to protect our information but how how will you protect your information ओके लेट लेट से मैं बोलता हूँ आपके मोबाइल फोन और डेस्कटॉप में देर इज यू नो सम अनवांटेड सॉफ्टवेयर ओके व्हिच माइट स्टील योर इंफॉर्मेशन और आइडेंटिटी राइट सो आप मुझे ये बताइए हाउ यू विल प्रो हाउ विल यू एंश्योर दैट योर इंफॉर्मेशन इज प्रोटेक्टेड वेल प्रोटेक्टेड हाउ विल यू एंश्योर दैट कि आपकी जो भी इंफॉर्मेशन उस डेस्कटॉप या लैपटॉप में आपने रखी है दैट इज सिक्योर इट्स योर राइट राइट बट you know how you are going to achieve it without uh, you know without having a specific even uh, awareness about it even a, you know let's say agar koi non technical hai okay usko usko kaise apne right ka pata hoga that they wanted to secure that information okay you someone is saying don't allow uh, access to all the information using antivirus very good okay so antivirus now we'll talk about antivirus like generally antivirus uh, i would suggest uh, you know antivirus everyone must have antivirus okay uh, see antivirus the benefit of using an antivirus it's very very common thing antivirus ko use karne se we prevent unauthorized or unwanted software or unwanted applications to run within your systems right but kuch kuch uh, antivirus aise hain jo har ek i mean uh, you know sari files ko access डॉट ई एक्सी फाइल अलग अलग टाइप्स की फाइल्स होती है उन सब एक्सेस को ब्लॉक कर देते राइट सो इट इज वेरी मच रिक्वायर्ड बिकॉज एवरी डे देर आर ऑलमोस्ट फोर्टी थाउजेंड फिफ्टी थाउजेंड न्यू वायरसेज विच कम्स इन द मार्केट डेली बेसिस पे चालीस से पचास हजार वायरसेस आपके लैपटॉप या डेस्कटॉप में या फिर आपके मोबाइल फोन में आ सकते हैं सो द ओनली वे टू प्रोटेक्ट द इन्फॉर्मेशन टू कीप दू नो एंटी वायरस और एनी फायर वॉल अपडेटेड राइट if you will not update that uh, you know software or antivirus then that is going to cost you a lot okay because there are different uh, you know set of antiviruses antivirus ka bhi apna ek purpose hota hai okay har koi uh, antivirus they try to steal your identity right they try to steal your personal information 
some try to uh, block access to your mobile phone or your desktop or to your network some try to modify your files right so har ek virus ka alag alag pattern hota hai and har ek virus ka alag alag uh, you know they have a different different working style right so for, again the foremost thing is we need we should have antivirus properly installed in our laptop or desktop or mobile phone okay generally hum log ye nahi karte hain uska reason ye hai kyunki antivirus comes up with a cost okay so people tends to buy free antivirus okay so i would suggest not to use a free antivirus freeware thing okay so free be nothing is free because they provide you very limited uh, protection right If you are using Avast antivirus or any other set of antivirus, if you are using it, they have a very limited free one. They have a limited capacity. Okay, those all type of attacks are not going to save you. Some some viruses are like Trojan horse. Okay, Trojan horse is one of the most dangerous virus ever found. Okay, now it tries to modify the complete information of your system. It tries to erase the data in your hard drive as well. सिस्टम की फाइल्स तक यू नो इट कैन डैमेज राइट सो वी नीड टू मेक श्योर दैट वट एवर सॉफ्टवेयर और टूल्स वी आर यूजिंग वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट यू नो कि हमारे पास वो चीज अपडेटेड हो नाउ द अनदर थिंग्स कम्स इज फायर वॉल नाउ व्हेन वी टॉक अबाउट फायर वॉल ओके नाउ फायर वॉल इज अ डिफरेंट थिंग एंड एंटीवायरस इज अ डिफरेंट थिंग नाउ मैं आपको उसको वर्किंग बताता हूं फायर वॉल क्या करता है कि आपके पास जितने भी एक ऑर्गेनाइजेशन लेवल पे लेट्स इफ यू आर वर्किंग इन इंस्टीट्यूशन और इन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ना राइट सो व्हाट हैपेंस इज व्हेन एवर यू यूज फायर वॉल बट नॉट एंटीवायरस ओके फायर वॉल विल जस्ट यू नो ब्लॉक दैट ट्रैफिक फॉर अ वाइल इट विल नॉट ब्लॉक दैट ट्रैफिक फॉर एवर ओके सो लेट्स से आई हैव स्पेसिफाइड दैट आई वांट टू ब्लॉक दिस सेट ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन लेट मी जस्ट शो यू ऑन योर ऑन माय डेस्कटॉप Okay, just a minute, ah, so that you can uh, see this information. Okay, all right. So, so this is my Windows firewall stuff. Okay, even you can see in your uh, desktop as well. आपके desktop पे भी आप search करेंगे search menu से and type firewall. Okay, you will see that. Okay, check firewall status and all. यहाँ से आप firewall देख सकते हैं. Okay, now अभी क्या है? Allow an app or feature through Windows Defender firewall. Windows Defender is an inbuilt or default firewall which is available in our desktop. Okay, in our Windows desktop, right? Abhi kya hai? Ye dekho. Allowed apps and features. So these are some of the application that are allowed by default with the help of firewall. Okay. Now what it does is it basically, you know, gives a certain level of rights. Okay, right? Like it says, remote desktop. so my firewall has not given private even not even public network access to remote desktop okay remote desktop now this is the by default configuration of the firewall which you can modify so let's say let me go to the details just a minute i'll show you that just one minute let it come okay see here one more thing first before that okay so block all incoming connection including those in the list of allowed app right okay block all incoming connection included those in the list of allowed app even if i have allowed certain apps kuch apps aisi hain jo maine jinko allow kiya hai agar aap unko bhi block karoge it means everything will be blocked but yes this is temporary aap yahan se turn on you can turn off the windows defender which is not recommended For the private network and public network, right? अब ये private network है आपका private means जो आप within the organization चलाते हो. This is popularly known as LAN, local area network. Okay, and then we have this public network security. Public network security means the moment you connect to any Wi-Fi, okay, or to any any hotspot, आप mobile के through access करते हो internet. So this is the public network setting. so in both the cases it has to be turn on windows firewall or windows defender firewall by default okay yahan pe ye by default ye setting hote hai jisme aap ye change kar sakte ho now we have more uh, you know features in this just a minute okay so if we we'll take on the advanced setting 
you will see something that like i'll show you how you can block one specific application or how you can allow you will see let's say i'm specifying a new rule okay now see this what type of rule would you like to create program port or predefined any software or application that you want to use or a custom let's say i want to block any program next where exactly is that program or you want to block access to all program now it says rule applies to all connection of the computer that matches other rules property it means whatever programs i have installed in my desktop everything you know access to everything either it will be allowed or either it will be blocked if i click next it says that allow the connection allow the connection if it is secure block the connection so what i want to do with that particular program or you can also specify any software let's say browser or web browser or maybe google chrome whatever you want to check okay so you can also set a specific pattern aap wo choose kar sakte ho that you want to allow access or block access right so this is something you know which is temporary okay but whatever you block or whatever uh, you know let's say it will not block any running software let's say maine kuch download kiya network se okay whatever i have downloaded from the internet whether that is a virus or not firewall will not just that so firewall usko check nahi kar payegi kyunki firewall ka role hai to act as a wall between the public network and private network right means whatever connections coming from outside the network abhi kya hai we all are connected through internet okay so in the, we all are connected through the public network right and in that public network let's say i'm taking an example of uh, reliance jio okay so let's say we all are connected through reliance jio so obviously we are not the only one who are actually connected with reliance jio there are millions of other users as well okay and all those users will try to access that public network at the same time however some of the network must be you know must follow the rule of uh, this firewall or let's say some of the organization they forget to set the firewall rule okay so it means if i will allow or i will block firewall any type of program or application can enter my uh, system without uh, you know without any information right but if you will block it and if you will specify it you can customize it that only these set of application can access the internet settings can access my uh, windows settings or whatever settings you want to specify okay see yahan par aapko jo bhi dikh raha hai na inbound rule inbound means whatever connections are coming in okay so let's say disable rule you can also enable or disable that particular thing let's say any desk bit torrent i can disable this what it says enabled action allowed so this is allowed if i will block this i will not be able to use this application okay so to provide application level security we use firewall okay but to uh, you know to, uh, uh, to to block any kind of unwanted application or software to run within your operating system that is the antivirus okay so antivirus can also act as uh, you know to uh, to protect you from trojan horse or any any kind of uh, viruses which is coming from the internet okay one more example kai baar aapne ye bhi notice kiya hoga whenever you are going to internet aap kuch uh, search karte ho okay you get you want to download something and you will find lot of download options not one you will find multiple download options now you will get confused that which uh, from which link to download okay so obviously there is only out of those link you know there is only one link which is actually genuine link but why there are so much of uh, download link just to confuse the user because obviously if uh, we have access to you know uh, if i am a layman i don't understand anything about technology mujhe kewal download dikhega i'll click on that download button and click it and just download the information right now whatever files get downloaded i'll run it obviously what we do whenever we access any any system or any settings we try to download it once we download it we try to run it okay to jab hum isko run karte hain run karne ke baad wo execute hoti hai file right once that gets executed because unknowingly maine wo chalaya mere ko nahi pata virus hai ki kya hai right so unknowingly that file will execute within particular network 
okay so once that file will execute that execution means it tries to expand within your system okay it try uh, it will try to access your directory it will try to access your pictures so some some of the viruses only attack pictures some of the viruses only attack videos some of the viruses only attack application so viruses ki bhi alag alag category hai okay so it's not like har ek virus ka ya antivirus ka ek hi role hota hai okay so i hope i made it very clear that what exactly is the you know difference between the firewall and uh, virus yes i am getting uh, you know uh, 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 lot of questions intrusion uh, detection plays a role yes intrusion detection system this is a very high end uh, uh, system okay which is which is actually a, a hardware based system okay which is uh, mentioned which is there on the on the uh, basically the gateway of the operating system right or gateway of the network so now gateway i'll show you something uh i am very much sure that uh, you have been to you have used this command command prompt cmd if you'll use this command cmd okay it will open up command prompt i'll show you something okay ip config okay ip config command it's it's basically a command जिसके थ्रू आप आईपी एड्रेस चेक कर सकते हो अपने सिस्टम का मींस आईपी एड्रेस क्या है विदाउट दिस आईपी एड्रेस हमारे उसमें इंटरनेट हमारे डेस्कटॉप या लैपटॉप या मोबाइल फोन में इंटरनेट नहीं चल सकता राइट सो दिस इज बेसिकली अ वेरी इंफॉर्मेटिव थिंग दैट आईपी वी फोर दिस इज एन आई पी वी फोर एड्रेस विद हेल्प ऑफ दिस एड्रेस ओनली ओके यू आर एबल टू एक्सेस एनी एनी अदर इंफॉर्मेशन इवन इफ यू विल ट्राई टू रन ऑन योर डेस्कटॉप इफ यू आर ऑन योर डेस्कटॉप यू कैन ट्राई टू रन इट okay you can go to run command this is the command run and then type cmd in this cmd you can type ip config you will see that there is an ip address but at the same time you will see another thing which is known as default gateway so this default gateway is the exit path so this default gateway is the exit path of your laptop or desktop okay exit path what what does it mean exit path means if you want to send any information from your laptop to any other system okay so it must exit from a gateway so ye wo gateway ka address hai so jo bhi firewall security hoti hai that is on this gateway only ye gateway pe hi lagai jati hai okay gateway pe lagne ka matlab ye hai from that gateway it allow or it block a specific port or application or a service okay whereas you install the antivirus in your desktop or laptop directly okay right okay all right now uh okay so we'll move on to the next thing in this yes so we we were on this uh, information security yes so it is how we define our computer system and valuable information in both digital and hard copy format which is crucial to our organization and success right so information security so information security has multiple uh, you know options right how you can secure an application you you should know see only thing is how you can prevent uh, you know any cyber attack only thing is the awareness if you are aware about the application that's why uh, you know uh, we have organized this workshop so that you all are well aware about some of the key factors that will help you to stay away from any cyber attack okay now second thing what is privacy so we discussed about information security yes information security we can secure any sort of information with the help of firewall firewall ke through bhi help kar sakta hai and we can also use an application or antivirus okay now information security ka ek aur uh, motive hota hai information security zaruri nahi hai ki information security keval virus se hi stop ho or maybe uh, you know uh, maybe through the firewall there is another way of securing your information now that way of securing information is known as encryption okay hum log encryption ki baat karte hain now when we talk about encryption now this encryption uh, thing when we talk about encryption encryption ka matlab kya hai encryption ka matlab hai to uh, to modify your information in a non readable stuff okay like kuch systems ki files hoti hain so let's say uh, i'll show you a path just on it
okay so let's say i'll show you some encrypted files c drive windows मैं आपको कुछ इंक्रिप्टेड फाइल्स दिखा रहा हूं विच आर सिस्टम डिफाइंड ओके जस्ट अ मिनट Okay, let's say this is one of the system file. I'll try to open this with Notepad. Okay, you will see some encrypted information there. See this. So this whole information is encrypted. Okay, see you will see in between the encryption is there. See this. This is a system file. and obviously this is obviously i am i am making it secure so this is another way of securing your information with the help of encryption yes encryption means data coding or encoding specifically okay so through this format also we can secure our information but what level of encryptions we have there are different different types of encryptions okay so encryption ka bhi alag alag level hota hai in how many bits format i want to encrypt this information 256 bit or maybe 56 bit 128 bit what format of encryption i am looking at right so obviously if this kind of information you have so it means even if a hacker try to access this file they won't be able to understand it until and unless they know the decryption mechanism okay so abhi kya hai ki ye wale sare jo encrypted file hai agar aap ye encrypted file ko use karte ho ya fir koi hacker ise uh, use karne ki koshish karta hai so that particular hacker hacker will never able to decrypt anything from this okay hacker ise tabhi ise uh, you know decrypt kar sakta hai jab wo encryption mechanism pata ho usko right usko pata ho ki ye encryption hui kaise hai what exactly is the mechanism okay so yes so data information security is your right definitely but you should know how to use your right right so encryption is there uh, you know data uh, this antivirus is there firewall is there okay now the second thing is data privacy we all know data privacy is very much required okay now what is data privacy is required now whatever information i let me give you one example of data privacy let's say i prepared this presentation okay and i posted it on facebook right this is my copyright stuff okay and i posted it on facebook now later on uh i am wondering that uh, you know someone has copied my uh, ppt or some of them have might have copied my crucial content now i have no clue from where they have taken this information right but obviously kisi ne mujhe bataya that you have posted this on facebook so it means that information privacy is no longer there either you can protect your file with a password that is one thing or another way of doing it whatever you post you know let me take an example of facebook facebook sabhi log use karte hain instagram facebook or even uh, you know whatsapp ek example deta hu aapko what is privacy privacy ka example example ye hai aap kisi ko aap, aapne agar status dala hai apne uh, whatsapp pe right and you want that status should not be seen you know you know in teen char logon ko mera status nahi dikhna chahiye okay so what you do आप उनको ब्लॉक करते हो या फिर एक्सेप्ट करते हो उनको कि हाँ योर यू नो स्टेटस कैन बी सीन फ्रॉम दीज पीपल एक्सेप्ट दीज 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 पीपल ओके तो एक्सेप्ट मींस आप उनको एक्सेप्शनल केस में रख लो दैट ओके दिस दिस इज लेट्स से देर आर हंड्रेड यूजर्स इन योर व्हाट्सएप आउट ऑफ हंड्रेड आपने पांच को ब्लॉक कर दिया ओके नाइनटी फाइव देख सकते हैं पर वो पांच नहीं देख सकते इट मीन्स आपने क्या है यू हैव अचीव अ लेवल ऑफ प्रिवेसी यू डोंट वांट टू शो देम योर स्टेटस राइट सो दैट इज अगेन अगेन अ वे ऑफ प्रोटेक्टिंग योर आइडेंटिटी ओवर द इंटरनेट नाउ वट इज एवरीवन इज पोस्टिंग लॉट ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन ओके फेसबुक पे डाल रहा है इंफॉर्मेशन यू नो व्हाट्सएप पे डालते हैं इंफॉर्मेशन एवरीवेयर इंफॉर्मेशन इज देयर 
so even uh, you know whoever is doing crime they can gather this information for their own benefit right they know where is the this person at this particular time you check into a hotel okay yes you go there and someone knows that you are in in that particular hotel or in that particular restaurant okay so it means that is how you protect yourself from privacy so what it says is having robust information security and privacy program helps company maintain the trust of our employees customer and general public okay so it means every government institution or any 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 organization government or non government uh, you know institution both they should have a very uh, crystal clear uh, privacy policy in place okay which specifies that whatever information or whatever data we are providing that is all encrypted okay so some of the organization has a scenario that you cannot send email to any external uh, user okay except your internal organization means aap apni keval organization mein data bhej sakte ho outside you cannot send any email right so that is also another form of uh, privacy the information privacy another thing kahi kisi laptop mein uh, usb usb har ek laptop mein hota hai but in some of the laptop usb access is disabled right so why that usb access is disabled because of privacy some of the application they don't allow you to take screenshot so let's say i'm taking one screenshot let's say i've taken a screenshot many screenshot le liya okay i'll go to ms paint i'm showing you how you know someone can temper your information see main isse save kar sakta hu usse right is information ko main save kar sakta hu kahin pe bhi i can modify it as per my requirement let's say you know let's say security and authentication i'll write something i add on something to it see so it means so is it secure no it it's not a secure way of uh, you know uh, protecting your data right so this is another mechanism that once uh, anyone can take a screenshot and uh, you know recreate that or modify that information right i i i might change this logo right so let's say i might uh, uh, you know it is this logo something like this because have hackers have a tendency to you know to hack your data and to breach into your data right so once they breach your data they can do they can do any number of modification right they can do any number of uh, you know modification in your data in your picture in your videos okay like facebook pe jaate hain hum log facebook mein nowadays wo fake news hoti hain lot of fake news are also spread as a rumor so who is making those fake news obviously these uh, these are certain set of people who have a criminal mindset okay that yes hum logon ko ye project karna hai ki that this is the guy ओके okay. जबकि होगा कोई और उन्होंने क्या उसका फोटो ही मॉर्फ करा है पूरा ओके वीडियो में भी एडिटिंग होती है हर चीज की एडिटिंग एवरीथिंग इज पॉसिबल ओके सो डेटा प्रिवेसी प्रिवेसी ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन इज वेरी मच रिक्वायर्ड सो व्हाट इफ मैंने अगर सेटिंग लगाई होती कि दैट यू कैन नॉट टेक स्क्रीनशॉट ऑफ दिस सो ऑब्वियसली स्क्रीनशॉट होता तो आप इसे स्क्रीनशॉट नहीं ले ले सकते थे राइट सो यू कैन आल्सो टेक अ स्क्रीनशॉट ऑफ दिस होल प्रेजेंटेशन दैट्स ओके बट इट 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 मींस आई हैव नॉट अचीव्ड अ प्राइवेसी लेवल ऑफ प्राइवेसी okay so it should be crystal clear defined that what exactly are the you know privacy policy that is uh, you know uh, there in place okay now after uh, discussing about the information security then we have uh, privacy then we have personal information okay again one more thing now we'll talk about let's say aadhar card okay so we all have aadhar card nowadays okay so it might replace voter id card in future who knows now that aadhar card uh, you know someone is also you know they can actually modify your aadhar card and paste a different picture into it okay so again one more uh, thing that i wanted to share with you whenever uh, i i'm sure that you must uh, you are already following this but whenever you uh, give your scanned document to anyone let's say in a mobile store mobile phone store or anywhere okay so uh, let's say they want your uh, aadhar card front and back side copy so always cross sign that okay with your signature and with your specific date and name and also mention purpose why you have given that uh, document to you know uh, this store okay because who knows uh, that uh, there is one person who doesn't have any aadhar card they might also give uh, that person a sim card 
okay i am just giving you no need to get afraid but yes i am just giving you an assumption that a criminal mind can do this way criminal ek kis tarike se bhi soch sakta hai wo kisi bhi store mein ja sakta hai they can pay some amount heavy amount to them and get a sim card big deal right so isliye aadhar card whenever you give any any of your information this is also a part of uh, cyber threats or cyber security okay because they are using your identity so that's why understanding this personal information th part is also important under the identity uh, security part so personal information is information related to an individual obviously it's a personal information now what kind of personal information so let's say example government issued id card date of birth gender race okay now ओके सो मेरे पास कुछ क्वेश्चंस आ रहे हैं और मैं हर एक क्वेश्चन को कोशिश करूंगा आंसर करने की जस्ट गिव मी फाइव मोर मिनट्स एंड देन वी विल यू नो टॉक अबाउट दी क्वेश्चंस ओके ऑल राइट सो नाउ पर्सनल इन्फॉर्मेशन अ गवर्नमेंट आई इश्यूड आईडी कार्ड डेट ऑफ बर्थ जेंडर रेस नाउ एक और मैं आपको यहाँ पे उदाहरण देना चाहूंगा ओके okay, पहले के टाइम पे क्या होता था कि लेट से वी आर ऑल आर यूजिंग जी मेल ठीक है बट पहले क्या था जी में एक अगर हम लोग पासवर्ड भूल गए ओके तो पासवर्ड भूलने के बाद एक फॉरगेट पासवर्ड का ऑप्शन आता है। योगेंद्र भाई, सॉरी आई एम इंटरप्टिंग यू यस सर यस सर हेलो आई एम इंटरप्टिंग यू मैं ये रिक्वेस्ट करूंगा ना कि ये भाई साहब हमारे बैठे हुए हैं यहाँ है ना वो लगातार उनका खाने का भी चल रहा है खाली अपना वीडियो अगर आप ऑफ कर ले है ना आप सभी से रिक्वेस्ट कर रहा हूँ आप लोग प्लीज अपना वीडियो ऑफ कर दीजिए सबके सब अदरवाइज ये नेटवर्क का बैंडविट भी लेता है देर इज लाइक वॉइस में भी इश्यू आता है वीडियो ऑफ करने का ऑप्शन भी ओके ओके ऑल राइट नाउ इट्स नो प्रॉब्लम नो प्रॉब्लम ओके ऑल राइट सो नाउ व्हेन वी टॉक अबाउट दी पर्सनल इन्फॉर्मेशन पर्सनल इन्फॉर्मेशन में अभी हम लोग बात कर रहे हैं आधार कार्ड की लेट्स से आधार कार्ड आपने यू नो इशू कराया एंड देन देर इज अ चांस ओके नाउ देन आई वाज टेकिंग दिस एग्जांपल ऑफ जीमेल ओके इन बैक डेज अब क्या होता था कि जब भी आप uh, एक जीमेल पे जाते थे एंड देन जीमेल पे यू फॉरगेट योर पासवर्ड राइट यू फॉरगेट योर पासवर्ड कंप्लीटली नाउ देर इज ऑप्शन ऑफ फॉरगेट पासवर्ड ओके सो इन बैक डेज इट यूज टू आस्क यू अ सिक्योरिटी क्वेश्चन ओके आज के डेट में सिक्योरिटी क्वेश्चन के अलावा भी एक टू स्टेप वेरिफिकेशन हो गया ओके अपार्ट फ्रॉम सिक्योरिटी क्वेश्चन इट आल्सो आस्क यू एन ओटीपी और ऑन योर मोबाइल फोन राइट इफ यू आर लॉगिंग इन फ्रॉम अदर सिस्टम मींस दिस इज एडेड लेयर ऑफ सिक्योरिटी मींस ये एक टू स्टेप वेरिफिकेशन बोलते हैं इसे टेक्निकल टर्म्स में बट नाउ इन बैक डेज जी में अगर आप फॉरगेट पासवर्ड करा आपने उसमें क्वेश्चन पूछेगा वट इज योर फेवरेट पेट नेम ओके और माइट बी वट इज योर फर्स्ट स्कूल नेम और वट इज योर बेस्ट फ्रेंड्स नेम okay what is your family name something like this what is your date of birth so these kind of question you know uh, uh, gmail uh, likes to uh, you, know, you to answer in case you forget your uh, password right now in that case don't you think uh, it's it's very easy to guess anything like that okay agar main bolta hu ki let's say you know i have a friend okay jisko mere ko meri date of birth pata hai okay who knows my first school name or maybe any anything any information then that guy just in case i'm just giving you an example that guy you know goes to internet and then type uh, you know forget password email id is not uh, you know you cannot hide email id address okay email id is open to all right but a password is obviously you can protect you can change it on a daily basis but email id you cannot change it will be displayed right aur keval email id se koi hacking nahi kar sakta now email id aapke paas aaya ठीक है आपने उसमें ऑप्शन पे क्लिक किया दैट यू नो व्हाट इज योर फर्स्ट स्कूल नेम और व्हाट इज योर बेस्ट फ्रेंड्स नेम यू मेंशन सम नेम देन ऑब्वियसली यू हैव द ऑथराइज्ड एक्सेस एंड यू कैन चेंज पासवर्ड एंड यू कैन स्पेसिफाई न्यू पासवर्ड राइट सो दिस वाज द चैलेंज दैट गूगल यूज टू फेस ओके बिफोर दिस डॉट कॉम बर्स्ट डॉट कॉम बिफोर ऑल दिस डॉट कॉम हैपेंस राइट तो अभी जब भी फिर उसके बाद आया एक सेकंड टू लेयर सिक्योरिटी अप्रोच now in that two layer of added security approach it will definitely ask you one security question or it will ask you otp okay in worst case it will ask you let's say you know your uh, it gives you various methods right 
दैट इफ यू फॉरगेट योर पासवर्ड ये तीन मैथड पूछता है ओके okay, ओटीपी भी पूछ सकता है लास्ट पासवर्ड भी पूछता है दैट वट इज द लास्ट पासवर्ड यू माइट है Why Google uh, try to do it? Because Google is so much, uh, you know, sensitive in these information security thing that they can easily identify. Like let's say, अभी मैं देहरादून में हूँ मैं, right? और कल की date में मेरा access हो रहा है श्रीलंका में. Okay, so someone is trying to access my system, my email ID from Sri Lanka. Then obviously Google will also track that one person cannot travel overnight to Sri Lanka just like that, <coughs> based on my travel history. okay because they have all the data everything is there everything is there okay so so what uh, you know what we need to do is we need to be very much secure, uh, you know we need to keep it very much secure that whatever information you are saving koi kya karta hai mobile phone mein apne login id aur password bhi save kar deta hai photo kheech lete hain right so i would request you not to do that because hacking you know wo aapko bata ke nahi aayega just like this corona the okay so this will happen for sure right if not now later so better uh, better we aware about these things what you can do is rather save it on your desktop or laptop which doesn't have internet access the best way or second thing is you know use uh, some government uh, authorized uh, you know uh, portals like digi locker okay so digi locker was introduced way back and with uh, you know uh prime minister inaugurated this and they told us about the digital thing that you can put all your documents there and all okay so that is also one way of securing your data so apne sare dastavez aap usme online upload kar sakte hain digi locker that application is digi locker okay aap use download karo use kar sakte ho government ka hai okay but yes obviously wo bhi ek cloud pe hai you never know when the security is there so what i wanted to say is we are never 100% safe okay over the internet right we are never 100% safe so what best we can do is we need the awareness right of all these things which can hamper our reputation over the internet right now one more thing hacking whenever someone tries to access your information it's not always through computer right it might be through a phone call as well okay now let me give you another type of uh, attack that uh, you know these hackers try to do now yahan pe hacker ka matlab keval wo banda nahi hai wo insaan nahi hai jisko sari technology aati hai wo computer mein baith ke hacking karta hai nahi yahan pe hacker us cyber criminal mind uh, uh, ko denote karta hai jo hacking aur ya fir data spoofing kahin se bhi kar sakta hai okay so abhi kya hai ki ek एक एक फेमस यू नो अटैक है व्हिच इज नोन एज सोशल इंजीनियरिंग अटैक ओके आई विल राइट इट डाउन हियर यू कैन आल्सो लेटर ऑन गो थ्रू इट सोशल इंजीनियरिंग अटैक सोशल इंजीनियरिंग अटैक नाउ दिस सोशल इंजीनियरिंग अटैक मींस यू नो हुस इफ इफ एनी ऑफ द पर्सन ट्राई टू स्टील योर आइडेंटिटी ओके ओवर द फोन राइट और थ्रू अ मैसेज राइट वो क्या करते हैं आपको दे विल दे प्रिटेंड टू बी फ्रॉम अ बैंक ऑफिशियल ओके फ्रॉम एनी एक्स वाई जी इंस्टीट्यूशन राइट तो आपको कॉल आता है दैट ओके द वेरी फेमस पेटीएम फ्रॉड नाउ डेज व्हिच इज गोइंग ऑन दे विल कॉल यू सर योर पेटीएम आपका पेटीएम ब्लॉक हो गया है वी नीड टू एक्टिवेट योर पेटीएम आप एक एप्लीकेशन डाउनलोड करो ओके उस एप्लीकेशन के थ्रू आप हमें ओ देना एंड रिमोटली हम लोग एक्सेस करेंगे राइट right? so what they do is they take control of your mobile phone just like abhi ye information main aapko dikha raha hu na ek link diya maine aapko link ke through aap any screen dekh sakte ho so similar thing they can do i can also give you right to access my laptop through this uh, you know application but obviously i won't do that so similarly if people are unaware about these kind of uh, you know cyber uh, threats or cyber criminal mindset so we it's better to be safe okay so in that scenario agar main uh social yes uh, it is actually known as phishing phishing is also one of the word which you can say okay social engineering attack phishing now what it is phishing is similar thing they they try to steal your identity they will call you that i'm calling from xyz bank okay that uh, your uh, you know we need to maintain uh, we, your uh, account is not properly maintained okay or your account is uh, damaged completely something like that they will try to steal your identity they will ask you that what is your otp what is your password and uh, you know uh, so if if they call 
थाउजेंड यूजर्स अटे ओके अगर वो हजार लोगों को कॉल करते हैं सो डोंट यू थिंक इट्स वेरी इजी टू ट्रैप वन कैंडिडेट अ डे ओके हजार लोगों को कॉल करने पे एक फंसेगा राइट और ये फॉर श्योर है राइट एंड ऑन अ डेली बेसिस यू नो देर आर मिलियंस ऑफ पीपल हु कीप्स डूइंग दीज काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स दे कीप सेंडिंग अनवांटेड यू नो पिशिंग अटैक मैसेजेस टू एवरीवन सोशल इंजीनियरिंग अटैक टू एवरीवन दैट किसी के पास मैसेज आता है आपकी लॉटरी लग गई है पचास हजार रुपए की एक लाख रुपए की यहाँ पर क्लिक करें क्लिक करने के बाद वो आपकी सारी इन्फॉर्मेशन पूछेगा ईमेल आईडी पूछेगा मे बी एड्रेस पूछेगा आधार कार्ड नंबर पूछेगा राइट right? सो so, वो भी वो भी एक यू uh, नो you know, अभी क्या है वो बहुत सारे लोग उसमें भी फंस जाते राइट right? सो so, ये ये होता है ये सारी चीजें सोशल इंजीनियरिंग इट्स नॉट ओनली अबाउट टेक्नोलॉजी इट्स अबाउट अवेयरनेस यू हैव टू बी सेफ बेटर सेफ देन सॉरी राइट आप उस चीजों को समझो सारी चीजें कि हाउ दीज थिंग्स कैन हेम्पर योर रेपुटेशन यू कैन डैमेज रेपुटेशन ऑफ इंस्टीट्यूशन एन एम्प्लॉयर यू नो अ कंपनी एन इंडिविजुअल फैमिली एवरीथिंग सो दिस वन यू नो साइबर थ्रेट और साइबर यू नो क्रिमिनल माइंड सेट कैन बी कैन डैमेज एवरीथिंग एट वंस राइट सो इट मीन्स वी हैव टू बी वेरी मच प्रोटेक्टिव ओवर द इंटरनेट वी हैव टू बी very much uh, you know uh, sensitive while providing our information anywhere right kai jagah pe kuch kuch websites hoti hain wo aapka har ek website aaj ki date mein aapka data leti hai okay if you want to download this file you need to download uh, you need to provide your information aap apni information provide karoge email id passwords and everything then uh, they can access your system right so there are there are lot of things right so so this is the last topic that i will be covering after that we will be having a question answer round okay now understanding information security and privacy let's talk about it so we talk about phishing we talk about uh, you know social engineering and ransomware okay so ye wo sari cheeze hai jo threats hai basically ek organization hai even a individual not only organization so we will understand it one by one what exactly it is so for those who wanted to understand what is phishing phishing refers to the practice of creating fake email that appears to come from someone you trust right ab mai एक जस्ट अ मिनट लेट मी लेट मी जस्ट शो यू समथिंग ओके सो विच वन इज रियल वी ऑल कैन गेस राइट okay which one is real okay dr vinita sharma she said one okay two someone said two okay no one okay okay three two see this is how i did, i did phishing right now i did phishing no one is correct because if you look at the domain facebook f a c b o o k f a c e b o k F A E C B O K. Now, अब मैं करेक्ट लिखता हूं यहां पे. डॉट कॉम जस्ट अमिट का ओके समन इज सेंग स्पेलिंग एर सो आई डिड दैट इंटेंशनली ओके नॉट जी मेल डॉट कॉम ऑब्वियसली फॉर जी मेल ऑल्सो आई टेक अनदर एग्जाम्पल ओके बट आई डिड पिसिंग राइट नाउ If you will receive any email, let's say yogendra at the uh, facebook dot com. So obviously at first you will see that okay, ये Facebook से है, right? ये Facebook से है. अभी हम आपको एक online. Okay, कुछ fake website ये online SBI की है, State Bank of India. This is also State Bank of India. Okay, so अगर कोई unknown होगा, right? Online अगर आप type कर रहे हो online SBI. So obviously उसमें कुछ फेक लिंक भी होंगे राइट देर विल लॉट ऑफ फेक लिंक एज वेल सो उस फेक लिंक के थ्रू क्या होगा सो यूल क्लिक ऑन दैट लिंक उसमें भी सेम वही इंटरफेस होगा लॉग इन आई डी पासवर्ड एंटर करने का बट द मोमेंट यू विल क्लिक यू एंटर योर लॉग इन आई डी एंड पासवर्ड एक फेक पेज पे वो उस इंफॉर्मेशन को क्लियरली देख सकते हैं दे कैन सेंस योर ओ टी पी एवरीथिंग ओके येस फेस लिंक फेक लिंक होते हैं राइट सो लाइक दिस ओनली तो कुछ रिलेटेबल लिंक होते हैं नाउ व्हाट इट सेज नाउ रिलेट टू दिस फिशिंग रेफर्स टू द प्रैक्टिस ऑफ 
creating fake emails that appear to come from someone you trust such as bank means maybe credit card company popular website right this email will ask you to confirm your account details or your vendor account and then redirect you to a website that looks like the real website but whole sole purpose is to steal information so at the end they will try to steal your information from that right yes so https link so this is how you need to identify even the fake link have https okay so inko security karne provide karne ke liye bhi uh, you know every organization kuch na kuch measures leti hai right like if you talk about https iska matlab hota hai jis bhi website ke aage aap https dekhoge ya if it is not given maybe a lock sign will be visible lock sign will be visible okay it means that site is encrypted or secured that site is completely encrypted or secure means whatever information you will share that will not be seen by any third party or a hacker okay yes green log i'll i'll show you that just a minute huh? okay i'll go to online sbi site did you see that online sbi see what it says your information for example password credit card number is private when it is sent to this site okay it clearly says that this is certificate is issued to sbi okay it is clearly mentioned there this is certificate to issued to sbi online sbi similarly If you will click on personal banking, यहाँ पर कई कई वेबसाइट इस पर राइट क्लिक भी एनेबल नहीं होता सी राइट क्लिक आई कैन नॉट डू राइट क्लिक है ओके आई कैन नॉट डू एनी एनी शॉर्ट ऑफ राइट क्लिक बिकॉज राइट क्लिक क्या होता है कि अगर आप किसी वेबसाइट में जाते हो लेट से मैं ऑनलाइन एस बी आई होम पेज में जाता हूं ठीक है यस यस देर इज अ चांस जिस वेबसाइट में लॉक नहीं दिखेगा वो ज्यादा रिस्की है ओके okay, बट होता क्या है कि आपको ये लॉक खरीदने के लिए भी ना मींस टू बाय दिस लॉक देर इज यू नो अमाउंट दैट यू नीड टू पे ओके सो कुछ कुछ वेबसाइट आजकल 80 परसेंट और 85 परसेंट वेबसाइट ऑल ऑफ देम हैव लॉक साइन ओके सो एसएसएल सिक्योरिटी बोलते हैं इसे सो सिक्योरिटी पैरामीटर्स आर ऑलरेडी इंटीग्रेटेड देर ओके लाइक अनदर थिंग आपने देखा होगा ये जैसे दिस यू नो UPI PM Cares at the rate SBI dot com donate to PM Care Fund. इसका भी fraud चल रहा है. Okay. अब ये लिखा ना C A R E S. If you have seen on news, C A R S भी लिखा है जिस किसी ने, right? C A E R S भी लिखा है. Okay. So yes, this is another another way of uh, you know stealing the information or identity. Okay. So this is again a digital fraud. <laughs> They are not trying to access your information. They need your money, right? So that is what phishing is all about. The email will ask you to confirm your account detail. आप आप सभी लोगों का Gmail ID होगा. I am very much sure. Gmail ID के spam में जाना, spam folder में जाना. <laughs> you will see lot of junk emails. Okay. आपने शायद कभी देखा भी नहीं होगा उस folder में. Okay. Gmail में left side पे spam uh, spam folder के अंदर जाना. There you will see millions of emails. ओके और वो सब फेल फेक ईमेल्स और मे बी दे ट्राई टू स्टील सम शॉर्ट ऑफ इन्फॉर्मेशन आप जब उसे ऑन करोगे उसमें क्लियरली लिखा होगा दे ट्राई टू स्टील योर इन्फॉर्मेशन आर यू श्योर यू वांट टू ओपन इट यस नो यस नो वट एवर इन्फॉर्मेशन इज दैट राइट सो इट मींस दिस इज द प्रॉब्लम देयर ओके देन आफ्टर दैट वी हैव सोशल इंजीनियरिंग वी हैव ऑलरेडी सीन दिस व्हेन अटेम्प्टिंग टू स्टील इन्फॉर्मेशन और अ पर्सनस आइडेंटिटी हैकर विल ऑफन ट्राई टू ट्रिक यू into given uh, giving out sensitive information rather than breaking into your system okay so they want you to provide them their sensitive information right and then we have social engineering can happen over the phone why it is known as social engineering why it is uh, social engineering because people are involved right so people are actually involved okay like uh, let's say i i uh, you know i'll call you and say that uh, you know i am from a bank i need your email id i need your address or maybe aadhar card number social engineering can happen over the phone 
कोई फोन से भी आपका डेटा ले सकता है ओवर द टेक्स्ट मैसेज दैट यू नो यू हैव वोन लेटर लॉटरी ऑफ दिस मच रुपीज ओके क्लिक हेयर टू वेरीफाई आप लोगों के पास डेफिनेटली ऐसे ऐसे मैसेजेस आते होंगे आजकल तो ज्यादा आ रहे क्योंकि लोग घर पे बैठे कुछ ना कुछ करते रहते हैं इंस्टेंट मैसेजेस राइट एंड देन ई मेल ओके थ्रू ई मेल सो आई वुड रिक्वेस्ट टू यू टू डेफिनेटली गो थ्रू चेक यूर स्पैम इन बॉक्स इन योर गूगल इन योर जी मेल अकाउंट एंड देन वी हैव रेन समेयर दिस वन वट इट सेज रेन समेयर इज अ टाइप ऑफ मालवेयर दैट रेस्ट्रिक्ट योर एक्सेस टू सिस्टम फाइल्स एंड टिपिकली बाई एनक्रिप्शन then demands a ransom to restore access as the name says ransom firati okay so what it does is aapne koi net banking access kiya okay so wo net banking ka access may be or aapki koi important file which you have uh, stored over the cloud right so hacker us confidential maybe it's a business deal hacker will try to get hold of that file that let's say wo million dollars ki files hai okay Now, or maybe उसमें कुछ यू नो एस बी आई का सीक्रेट है राइट सो अगर कोई उसे हैक कर देता है डेफिनेटली उसको पासवर्ड प्रोटेक्ट कर देता है या इनक्रिप्ट कर देता है सामने से आपको एक ई मेल आएगा दैट आई हैव यू नो मनीपुलेटेड योर इन्फॉर्मेशन इफ यू रियली वॉन्ट टू ओपन दैट यू नो यू नीड टू पे मी समू नो मनी इन रिटर्न राइट ऑफन सिस्टम आर इन्फेक्टेड बाई रेंसम वेयर थ्रू अ लिंक लाइक इन अ मलिशियस ई मेल where the user clicks the link the ransomware is downloaded to the user's computer smartphone or other device ransomware may spread through connected network now if we are connected let's say from uh, you know there are 10 users or uh, 100 of users within one uh, uh, you know institution okay so what happens is uh, if one of the user unknowingly click a ransomware link okay they will download it and it will spread across the network right means that same email will go to all the users at once right so we need to make sure that uh, uh, you know how you can actually protect your identity from phishing from uh, you know social engineering and ransomware okay so these uh, understanding information security and privacy this is what we have discussed phishing social engineering and ransomware okay okay right uh i think uh, you know uh, we i'm open to questions now okay so i'll i'll try to solve all of them okay so when doing online transaction through website how the person can recognize that the website is safe or not okay so whenever we try to do any net banking stuff okay so let's say irctc so always transact from those sites which you know which are very very common to use which are uh, you are aware that obviously this website is very much secure let's say irctc i'll do any booking railway ticket booking from irctc okay or maybe i'll i'll do a plane ticket booking from uh, from the uh, you know service provider side like let's say go air or maybe spicejet airlines from their side directly right instead of going to any other random link like maybe go ibbo or make my trip or any anything right so i am not saying that they are not secure they are also secure because at the end all of them are doing the online transaction right but if you really if you ask me that you know always always uh, try to you know go to the source source website don't try to click on any of the you know alternate website link okay okay so i hope uh, this basic awareness uh, you know is there in your uh, with you now okay there are lot of questions which are uh, very you know uh maybe what you hello hello how many questions are there you can there are lot of questions lot of questions yeah. if yeah, those yeah, yeah. questions are identical of similar types so maybe you can you know uh, suppose there are 30 questions so in in five six different uh, responses maybe you can answer those things or Absolutely. maybe tomorrow tomorrow the the, the 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 first session can be on you know responding to these ones then Absolutely. we can have an hour of the session and finally Definitely. we can have 15 minutes of feedback and other systems tomorrow 
if at mm-hmm. all we need an extension so that could also be addressed mm-hmm. okay right all right all right theek hai sir if you if you agree to this idea today maybe you can answer three four if at all those Definitely. are there and those questions which fall under the ambit of this appreciation because mm-hmm. we are not going into you know the detailed account of it for that mm-hmm. we will need uh, you know an extra uh, sort of an extensive program yes right right so right. we this is just yes. uh, we can sure. right 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 this is just the basic uh, you know stuff that we that we are actually covering oh, just to make sure that uh, you know you all are aware about it this is not any any sort of training program or a high end technical thing okay so we are just talking about the awareness part of it ki kuch aise cheeze hain jo sabko clear ho jaye right so i would like to answer like vpn ssl security firewall stateful you know i would i'll answer them all of them via email okay so please allow me time for that right ne aur hum aur hum friends kind of response we get तो इसी का आगे हम एक एडवांस्ड प्रोग्राम जैसे एमएल का है एआई का है इसी तरह का एक बड़ा प्रोग्राम रखेंगे ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ द काइंड ऑफ रेस्पॉन्स डेफिनेटली सर डेफिनेटली एक फीडबैक हम सवेरे मॉर्निंग में हम एक क्वेश्चनर दे रहे हैं एज टू व्हाट काइंड ऑफ यू नो प्रोग्राम्स पीपल वांट स्टूडेंट्स रिसर्चर्स वांट प्रैक्टिशनर्स वांट पॉलिसी मेकर्स वांट बिकॉज़ सिक्योरिटी एट डिफरेंट लेवल्स दे हैव डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ रिक्वायरमेंट्स ऑल टुगेदर फॉर अ रिसर्चर्स है ना denial of service or distributed denial of services maybe forensic this 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 n number of honey pots mm-hmm. to this to this for for researchers and for right. a general user the requirement is going to be entirely different so tomorrow right. we'll just try to find out and we'll also analyze different portfolios and profiles people have so maybe we can mm-hmm. come up with something interesting right absolutely sir okay, absolutely you yeah. can answer a few of them and thank you so much right, right. no problem sir thank you thanks for your time okay all right so uh, i can definitely answer some of them okay all right so one thing is you all will get this lecture video okay so once we finish this session session khatam hone ke baad ye pura ek video mein youtube link ke through aapko mil jayega through email you all can access it okay aap ise access kar sakte ho you can use it okay aap usse samajh sakte ho cheeze and then another thing is i'm also sharing my email id here okay so that if there is any sort of uh, you know advanced uh, queries you have my email id is mentioned there you can write me on email id i would definitely love to answer that okay and rest uh, i think uh, you know we can definitely start to tomorrow and we will start with the all the review questions okay so that uh, you know everyone is on the same page right yes uh, miss mr joshi bharat joshi you will get the pdf and presentation definitely okay so all of you will get uh, the video lectures okay for today and tomorrow so for today you will get in next probably in the two hours because uh, the size of this whole video is large enough that and then i need to upload it in youtube and from there you can you know access it okay all right so uh, you know we should thank to you sir as well in order they have organized this workshop okay and uh, thank you all so we'll catch up tomorrow okay thank you so much all thank you sir thank you sir thank you thank you very much sir thank you sir thank you thank you so much